The US is to tighten sanctions on North Korea and step up diplomatic moves aimed at pressuring the country to end its nuclear and missile programs. President Donald Trump's strategy was announced after a special briefing for all 100 U.S. senators. Earlier, the top U.S. commander in the Pacific defended the deployment of an advanced missile defense system in South Korea. Tensions have risen amid fears the North is planning new weapons tests. The United States seeks stability and the peaceful denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula said a joint statement issued by Secretary of State Rex Tiersen, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis and Director of National Intelligence Dan Coates. We remain open to negotiations towards that goal. However, we remain prepared to defend ourselves and our allies. The president's approach aims to pressure North Korea into dismantling its nuclear, ballistic missile and proliferation programs by tightening economic sanctions and pursuing diplomatic measures with our allies and regional partners, the statement added. The U.S. already has extensive sanctions in place on North Korea, including a blanket ban on trade and a blacklist of anyone dealing with North Korea. It is not clear what further sanctions Washington could impose. The Americans are deeply concerned about advances in North Korea's weapons technology, they believe it could well be capable of hitting the United States with a nuclear warhead before the end of President Trump's first term. Any U.S. military intervention to preempt that would be fraught with risk, but Mr. Trump has toughened his rhetoric to drive home a message that it's a credible threat. A key part of his plan is to pressure China to lean more heavily on North Korea to dismantle its nuclear weapons program. The statement says the U.S. is open to negotiations towards that end, but many even in Washington doubt the regime could ever accept such terms. Democratic Senator Christopher Coons told reporters that military options were discussed at the special presidential briefing for senators. It was a sobering briefing in which it was clear just how much thought and planning was going into preparing military options if called for, and a diplomatic strategy that strikes me as clear-eyed and well-proportioned to the threat, he said.